Hey there, Internet. This is Kevin Coons reporting for 360 Today. The big news today came from F8, Facebook's developer conference. Mark Zuckerberg made the announcement that May 1st will be the shipping date for both the Oculus Rift S and the Oculus Quest, which is their first real standalone portable six degrees of freedom headset. And both of them will be priced at $399. Although, if you buy the Quest and you get the 128 gigabyte version, it's going to set you back around 530 bucks with tax and all that jazz. Not to mention shipping if you have to ship somewhere far. Um, but it is very, very exciting news. I'm excited. I pre-ordered one, so as soon as I get it, I'll do an unboxing. There was a lot of hype surrounding this event. A lot of people on Reddit believed that they were going to actually uh, have them at Best Buy. Many people went to Best Buy early this morning. I myself also went there around 10 a.m. and people were just like looking at me like, what's an Oculus Quest? So, um, you know, the hype is real, but it will be a month later that it will come out. So we'll see when it comes out, um, you know, if, if it lives up to the hype. I'm very excited about it. I'm excited for the Star Wars game. I'm excited to have Beat Saber be portable and be able to bring that places. Um, so for me, it just makes sense to get it. But the Rift S, I am a little bit more skeptical on. I already have an HTC Vive. Um, there's a lot of other headsets on the market that are pretty good. This has really good gaming graphics, but again, I don't want to be tethered to a wire. I'd rather be portable and have really great graphics and not have the best graphics. So that's my takeaway. It's just personally not for me, but I highly recommend it if it's something that you're really into, like gaming or whatever. You really want to have the best system with the best graphics. Um, or if you're a developer. He did say at the event, uh, everyone gets a quest for free. I predicted that. He gave away the Oculus Go last year at F8, so I predicted he would do that this year. But that's pretty much my wrap-up for it. Zuckerberg also talked a lot about privacy and how they're trying to make privacy a lot better um, for users, and that makes it harder for developers, but it's also going to be just an overall better product. So it was a pretty good developer conference. I wish there was more VR-focused. So anyway, that's the wrap-up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Maybe I'll get to go to F8 next year and do some streaming there. Write a comment if you have any questions. And have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.